I wanted to talk to you guys about dating, specifically online dating, because most of you know, and some people that may not know, my last serious relationship was 10 years long, and it ended about a year and a half ago. And I've been thrust into this world of, of singleness at, uh, at, at 40 years old. And so when I was 30, there was not online dating sites. And a lot of you people are out on one particular site. And um, I just want to hear about your experiences with them, how they worked for you, how they haven't worked. Did you make great connections? Or did you experience some of the things that I experienced where you met someone, visually you liked the, their pictures, because let's face it, we are visual creatures. We like to be attracted to who we're, to who we're dating, uh, obviously, or they're not going to actually... You probably wouldn't even look at their profile if their picture wasn't visually attractive to you and then you love what they say in their text and you send them a message or they send you a message and you have this great um, back and forth messaging. You got this chemistry that you're feeling, you like the way they talk and you like the way they look and then you meet up for that coffee chat and it's not there and you're like, oh, how many times has that happened to you? I want to hear. For me, it's probably happened about, and I'm sorry if, 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 if one of the people I've dated, if you're watching right now, but you probably felt it too. It's not just one way. Um, but the coffee chats, I, I, I don't even, some people call them coffee dates. Personally, I like to call them coffee interviews and people might think that's rude, but really when you're meeting up for the first time, both people are kind of deciding. They're interviewing, they're asking questions. I, I think it's called a coffee meetup or a coffee interview. And then if we decide to like each other and want to go on another date, then I call it a coffee, um, a date, or an actual date. Unfortunately for me, I haven't gone beyond the two or three dates, and I don't know if I've become jaded or, or guarded in my in my ways, um, but um, I want to hear from you. And sitting with me right now, um, we have someone who is also fairly new to the dating um, world and in her single life. And how long has it been since your last serious relationship again? Uh, just over a year. Just over a year. And so, did you? Are you the type to be meeting people out in the bars, in the clubs, or you have you also gone to online dating as well, as a, a one of the means? Yeah, actually, once I became single, I kind of started out with um, going out to the clubs, and I dated people that way. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, it just wasn't working for me, so I decided to try out the online dating thing on a popular website as well. Yeah, yeah, and I think we both know what that website is. Um, and so were you nervous to put your image up there and like if people are going to be looking at me and, and you know carefully putting our text in and stuff like that, was that nervous for you? Definitely, I mean it really is like a resume in a lot of ways, you know you have to put a lot of thought into this and decide um, you know you're trying to impress people and you want to put your best pictures up and uh, it's there, there's a lot involved in it. It's really not as easy as it seems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you went for uh, to look at uh, other people's pictures to read their profile, did you need to? Did you want to be attracted to that person right then and there? And I did, and it's funny that you asked that because when I first started on it, I wanted to give everybody a fair chance right off the bat. I just wanted to read their profiles and not judge them. Um, based on their their picture but more on their profile as well but after probably about three weeks it <laughs> it went more to looking at their picture and then if right. they're it was attractive then I would look at their profile yeah exactly and you know what I can I'm sitting here you're a very attractive person um, thank you yes and so <laughs> you must have got I, I I would say you got a lot of messages yep definitely okay. did yeah and so what was it for you that worked when people sent you messages? Um, you know, because we kind of we have to filter. That's what we're doing. We're filtering out, right, to to the ones that we think would would be a, a connection. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of things worked for me in in the messages? Are you saying for me to want to pursue something further or? Yeah, because you know we get some messages like, "Oh, you're so hot," you know, you know that one picture of you is like that. Well, you know, we can get messages like that, but. Yeah. Probably not the most relevant ones, but they could be. Someone could be just be nervous. Is that been your experience? Definitely, and I think that those 
I think there's several different types of people that go on to online dating mm -hmm. and they're going on for different reasons and you you definitely get those messages where it's straight to the point you're hot and it's not very personable mm -hmm. and ultimately um, if I'm gonna give somebody a fair chance it mm -hmm. it is decided on how personable and interested in me as a person mm -hmm. they are right okay so you got to feel some sort of connection or some sort of feeling that they're they're attracted to your profile not only because of your picture definitely and have some uh, connection like things in common as well right and do you use the instant message feature on there, or is it just back and forth messaging? Just messaging. Right. Okay. All right. And then um, tell me about some of your, your experiences, like meeting them up for coffee. Have they been all the, they walked in the door and you're like, oh my God, they're so good looking. And oh, I'm feeling it and I'm really excited. And they sit down and they're, you talk about things that are totally in common or the, the back and forth messages that you had. Did it meet? Did it match when you got in person? Uh, no. I think that my experiences are very similar to yours. Um, I've probably gone on maybe not a lot of online dates yet, maybe under 10. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you, you talk with these people online, you have this amazing chemistry it seems, and then you go into the, the coffee shop and meet them. And either the chemistry is not there because of the physical attraction. Mm -hmm. I think pictures can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. Um, or they just seem like completely different than the way they write to you. Did you find that in person, that because you are a very attractive woman, did you find that they were maybe a little bit nervous in front of you, seeing you face to face, and they kind of can, you didn't feel a connection because they weren't <clears throat> looking at you, they're kind of looking away, or they just were fidgety or something like that, so you nervous? Maybe somewhat nervous or maybe a little bit intimidated, but, um... For the most part, I think it was fairly comfortable because okay. I'm a very easygoing person and okay. approachable. Okay, cool. And and have, are you actually dating someone right now? Uh, I'm kind of seeing somebody from the, the site. Yep. Okay. And uh, out of all the people I've seen so far, this person's been the only one to actually kind of stick around for me. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll see where it goes. That's that's cool. Um, you know. It, it's been a while for me that I, I, I've been single and I think what we're all looking for is that instant chemistry so it seems like it takes a few to find that chemistry because it doesn't happen you know right away excuse me all the time so is that what you felt when you met this person right away or did you just kind of give it a chance and I'd say I gave it a chance yeah yeah I I ultimately would love to have that instant chemistry but yeah. chemistry seems really hard to find to just have that instant chemistry, mm -hmm. I, I, that's how I feel. I'm not sure how you take it, but. Yeah, well, it'd be interesting to see what uh, some of the viewers talk about uh, uh, dating in general and especially online dating because it is the way that people are going. And um, let's face it, we, when we don't meet people at a bar or a party, whatever, we don't know the energy, we can't feel it. We don't know if that chemistry is there. We don't get that wink or whatever. It's just an image and it's a text that you're looking at and everything else, the chemistry that you feel, is fantasy like until you meet them in person. So um, did you have anything that else that you wanted to add regarding online dating? No, I think I think you're right. Probably just to add to that and uh, justify what you're saying that I think online dating is great because it weeds out a lot of the questions you have about somebody before you actually have to start dating them. Mm -hmm. But there's something about chemistry that I think people have no control over. Mm -hmm. I think people just, two people can get together and just have, it's a, a unsaid, unwritten chemistry for whatever reason it is. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think um, makes online dating a little more challenging. Yeah, yeah. But it, but it, 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 it is exciting when that chemistry is there and you're like, oh, I feel something. And it's when you go home at night and you think about that person and, and you're like, oh wow, or they call you and you see their call coming, you see the text coming and you smile. Yeah. So then you're thinking, I think that's, I think I'm feeling the chemistry, I think it's good. So you, I, I, I wish you a lot of luck with what you're, with who you've met now and how the relationship goes. And uh, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, it was interesting. Yeah, and um, for anyone else uh, viewing right now, as I said, you can send me a message through the YouTube channel. 
And uh, if you want to send me a private message or send me a comment, you can certainly do so. And I would uh, love to read your comments uh, on my next video blog. And we'll learn more together about online dating. Thanks.